so with this uh, uh, 980 that I'm using today and the new uh, uh, TDL 450B, we need to create a survey style to use it uh, with the Bluetooth uh, capabilities. So uh, I'm just first going to start out in my menu button, go down to my settings and survey styles. Uh, I'm just going to create a new, just give it a quick name. I'm going to call it with Bluetooth. And then basically just kind of go down through our options. So today I'm using an R10 Model 1 as my rover. Looks good there. Uh, my rover data link, that's going to be just my uh, receiver internal. Again, if I need to Bluetooth over to my uh, rover, then I can check my uh, radio frequency and, and uh, over the air link rate. So I'll just skip this for right now. I'll go back into my base options. I am using the new R980. Antenna height I'll just leave. Obviously that's going to change from setup to setup. And that looks good there. Accept that. And then my base data link. So it's preset to uh, my TDL 450. What I want to do is go down and uh, go down and select 450B. I'm using Trimble Access 2024.01. Uh, I believe this was a, an option uh, in 2024. Um, so I'm gonna select that here. And then you can see the baud rate is uh, automatically populated by default. That's what the TDL 450B is set to. My receiver port, if I was going to use the cables, I would use port one. Um, but for this video, we're gonna go through the Bluetooth settings. So I'm gonna select Bluetooth here. And where it has device name, I've already connected to this TDL. Yours will probably say none if it's a first time setup. So all you would need to do then is go ahead and hit search. So once we click on that search button, it's going to start looking for the TDL 450B. Uh, we need on the TDL 450B to be on a certain page on the faceplate of the 450B. So uh, on the faceplate of the 450B, just click on menu and then go down to Bluetooth. And you might have to hit toggle twice. Uh, we just need to be in the screen that says that the 450B is visible. Uh, and once we do that, uh, then the 450B will be an option to be found uh, in this screen here. So there it popped in. Uh, you would just select the 450B from the list here and then hit select. So in your device name, rather than saying none, it's gonna have your TDL uh, listed. Uh, and then just hit accept there. And then make sure you store your uh, service style. So I do have a job already started and created. I'm already Bluetooth to my base. Uh, so from here, we're just gonna go ahead and start the base. Hit our start survey, select our new survey style. It's going to go through a connection between the base and the uh, TDL 450B. I don't have a base point in here, so I'm just going to uh, do a heat position. Which in my antenna height, hit start. Now my base is started. I can verify on my 450B if that is uh, going. So my uh, TDL 450 is showing transmit, so I'm just going to Bluetooth over back to my rover.
and you can see uh, my survey started and I am good to go. Uh, one last cable to have to use. Uh, you can see in the photo here, uh, just my power and then my uh, cable to my antenna. Uh, but that connection between my 980 and 450B is all via Bluetooth.